last video, we started the cam swap on the Corvette. And today we're gonna dive right into it and I'll show you guys what we had done. All right guys, so we got the Cam Motion 660 lift valve springs installed with all their nece necessary hardware. So head gasket's on the block right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and slap this baby on. on drop it. Come on. No. She's on. So we got the head torqued down to spec. We got it in sequence. Now Douglas is gonna go ahead and we're gonna figure out the push rod length needed for the new valve train geometry. All right, so we got the stock length push rod in there right now and we're verifying our um, depth of engagement on our push rod. So right now we have a little side to side play on a rock arm, which is totally fine, but we have no vertical movement, right? So you see my fingers trying to go up and down but there's no vertical movement on that rock arm. So now what we're gonna do is set our ratchet, nice neutral spot. So right now we're at six o'clock position and we'll go half turn. So we're at one half turn, gets tight. All right, so we're in between one half turn and almost a three quarters of a turn. So what we'll do is now <clears throat> we'll go back to our neutral, get our torque wrench, so if we get one eighth of a turn, that'll leave us at one full turn or three quarters of a turn, sorry. Your typical preload is gonna to wanna to be between three quarters of a turn and one quarter of a turn. So right now we are within that range. So that was, that was almost perfect at three quarters of a turn. So that would be our bare minimum um, preload. My brother and I, we got the cylinder head on. We got the alternator and bracket back on, power steering pump is on, the reservoir is on, the ABS module is back together, the steering rack is in, everything pretty much on the bottom side of the car is done, sway bar, uh, tie rod end links and whatnot. I cleaned everything up a bunch, so that's all good. Radiator is back in its spot, the fans are on, uh, see cooler lines are installed. So, I mean, not, not a too terribly much that we did, but we did get some good progress. So the starter's back on. So we're gonna go ahead and put the driver's side header on. Uh, can't do the passenger side yet because we gotta install this head. But mostly we got all the kind of the difficult things out of the way like the rack and pinion, that was kind of a pain in the butt. So we got our valley cover right here. And what I had failed to do is order new O-rings that go here. So there's eight O-rings that go in all of these spots. And it's very crucial that you put, um, or you at least have O-rings on here. I'm not sure if you can reuse these or not, probably not. So I had to kind of rush order those because I totally forgot. And they're not very cheap. They're a couple dollars a piece and you need eight. So I kind of add up quick, but that was on my fault. I forgot to do it. And also we got the trunnion upgrade completed. So these are the BTR trunnion upgrade. So all it is is it's a new, new needle bearings, new trunnion itself, much beefier. And then there's two uh, C-clips on the ends as you can see right there. So if one, a bearing wants to push out um, really can't, really can't push bearing it at all. So that's pretty nice. Got a package today, finally got our push rods. So it was only a uh, two day turnaround really. So ordered them Sunday, got them here on Tuesday. So it's pretty good. I just had these installed or just partially installed so nothing fell into the motor. So yeah, let's keep, uh, keep pushing on. Don't forget you guys, we're still doing our giveaway for our 1000 subscriber milestone. So Austin and I decided to give you guys, or give back to you guys today. So you'll be getting both of these hats and a $25 gift card to either Summit or Jags of your choice. But yeah, we just wanted to say thank you to you guys. So that's why we're doing it. Really easy to get yourself entered. All you have to do is like the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below, and that's it. All right, we're on the home stretch. Got everything back in place. The only thing I have not done is torque down the intake manifold. Same thing with the fuel rails. So our injectors fit, which is good, but there's, I mean, the o I guess the O-rings that come on these guys, they're the black ones, if you can see that or not, and they're supposed to be orange. So I guess with the LS2 intake manifold, you need the larger orange O-rings that fit better into the little uh, bosses. And uh, schedule with Nate, have him come over, 
give us a good little startup tune and get it safe enough to drive over to Dino and uh, go ahead and go make some power. guys the camshaft install is done on the corvette and the next time you'll see it is on the dyno